One of the reasons that uh, ryegrass is such a fantastic feed um, and a such, such a fantastic plant for uh, dairy farming or for farming on is, is not just because of the, the nutritious value of the feed, it's because the plant can survive very well in the pasture. And, uh, and, it, and it does that by the two methods, one of the vegetative reproduction we talked about and the other of putting up seed heads. And uh, one of the things we have to understand is how committed these tillers get when they when you give them the opportunity to put up seed head because um, you've got to understand where the energy comes from there's um, we talked about the energy of the leaves and how to sustain that we have to let a third leaf build up energy supplies down in the crown well when the seed head starts to grow and really and emerge there's a lot of energy required by the plant to build that stem and then to fill the seeds with carbohydrates so the seeds are viable. And we've got a, you know, and that, that's a big energy demand. Now that can't all come from the leaves, from the sunlight. So what happens is the plant actually takes a lot more energy out of its roots. So not just from the crown, but out of its roots. And, and it's a kind of a, almost a do or die for a an annual ryegrass, this is a do or die thing. It throws everything it has from its roots uh, up into the seed head for a perennial. It still takes a lot of material from its roots. And what that means is that if we let one of these tillers go to seed, the plant sheds a lot of the roots that it has in the ground. So it's, it's pulling up all the reserves it can from there to help the development of the seed head. And then it, uh, it sheds them. It, 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 um, it cuts them off. Now, for a lot of New Zealand farmers without irrigation, this is a really critical event because this happens at the end of spring leading into the summer and if we as pasture managers let ryegrass plants go to seed, then we've got to understand at the same time the plant is going to reduce its root mass and going forward that means that plant is not going to be able to get as much water out of the soil as it would have if it was never allowed to go to seed. If, if you don't allow the plant to go to seed, then these roots stay intact. And, and so grazing management to graze down here and eat the seed heads before they appear is vital in dry land farming or non-irrigated farming uh, situations because what it means is we have actively growing uh, tillers or plants with lots of daughter tillers with strong root systems, which means the plant is the best setup it can be to go into the summer. If we let it go to seed, we then get the plant, it sheds its roots, and just when uh, things are getting tough for water in the soil, it's got less roots to grab water, and this really compromises the ability of pastures to survive and to grow and to survive uh, in our summers if they're not irrigated.